Now to the ABC News exclusive, the actor at the center of that bizarre Hollywood hostage story is now telling his story after this video showing one of the suspects being arrested went viral. Amy's here with that. Good morning, Amy. That's right. Good morning, guys. Joseph Capone says he was threatened, beaten, stripped, and held in a bathtub without food for a terrifying 30 hours. And now this morning, he is telling his story for the very first time only on GMA. It had all the makings of a Hollywood whodunit. Two actors, Joseph Capone and Daisy McCracken, seen in movies like Halloween Resurrection. I think Michael Myers had fits of rage that he could not control. Kidnapped from McCracken's home, pistol whipped, dragged into a car leaving only a trail of blood. One of their alleged kidnappers arrested in this now viral video on the streets of LA. He whacked me on the head with the gun and then proceeded to stop on me and give me a pretty good beating. Now Joseph Capone exclusively speaking out to ABC News about his ordeal. He grabbed me uh, by the collar and, and dragged me outside and dragged me down the uh, driveway and threw me in the back of a car um, where Daisy was already in the back seat and they put uh, bags over our heads and then proceeded to drive. At the second location, Capone says he tried to fight the kidnappers, resulting in a violent beating. They stripped me naked and they threw me in this filthy bathroom uh, with no lights on. For the next 30 hours, authorities say Capone sat alone in the bathroom naked without food while McCracken was being driven from ATM to ATM, withdrawing money for the kidnappers and forced to write a $10,000 check to guarantee Capone's release. They said things like, um, if she doesn't come through, man, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I don't know what's going to happen to you. The three suspects in the case, Keith Andre Stewart, John Tay Jones, and Amber Neal, seen here in that now viral arrest video, all face multiple years behind bars if convicted. But Stewart's attorney says he is innocent and that Jones and McCracken had a previous relationship. Capone says one of the attackers did seem to know her. Daisy had known him uh, in some capacity, I'm not sure. But my spidey sense was kind of tingling. It felt weird. It felt like something was off. Regardless of what happens next in the case, Capone tells us he's doing fine and is ready to move on with his life. I'm not a victim. I'm a survivor. You know, I think it's in state of mind. Yeah, that happened. But what's tomorrow? And the defendants are expected to appear in a pre-trial hearing two weeks from today. Uh, a lot of people shaking their heads at this one. Just mm, so bizarre. So strange. Very bizarre. Well, still got a long way to go. I have a feeling Ooh. this is not over. Far from over. No. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.